Sharika Jackson, the Jamaican sprint queen who ruled the 200M with unmatched dominance, had the world on edge at the Paris Olympics. Fans braced for her epic clashes with rivals like Shakari Richardson, expecting a showcase of speed and power that only Jackson could deliver. But just as the world held its breath, a shocking twist changed everything. First, she pulled out of the 100M. Then, days later, her 200M hopes vanished too. What happened to the athlete who seemed unstoppable? The world 200 meter champion Sharika Jackson says on her quest to break the long standing world record in the half lap event, she'll have to go. Sharika Jackson's journey to the top of the athletics world has been nothing short of extraordinary. Known for her blazing speed and remarkable versatility, she's one of the few athletes who transitioned from dominating the 400M to becoming a force in both the 100M and 200M sprints. This Jamaican powerhouse has not only showcased her prowess on the track, but also her resilience and determination to evolve with the sport. Over the past three years, Jackson has consistently competed in grueling double events, taking on both the 100M and 200M at major championships, proving time and again that she's not just a sprinter, but a relentless competitor. Her performances have been awe-inspiring. She's clocked some of the fastest times in the world, often toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Shelly Ann Fraser-Price and Shakari Richardson. What makes Jackson so special is her ability to accelerate in the final moments of a race. Her dominance in the 200M is especially noteworthy, as she's frequently left her competitors struggling to keep up with the curve. In doing so, she's redefined what it means to be a sprinter, showing the world that technical precision and raw power can coexist beautifully be grounded and you know continuing to work and to chase after medals and gold medals but jackson's rise wasn't just about winning medals it was also about how she competed with grace under pressure and a constant drive to improve even against fierce rivals like shakari richardson jackson never backed down this rivalry brought a new level of excitement to women's sprinting with every race becoming a must-watch event Jackson's rise didn't just elevate her, it elevated the entire sport. When Jackson pulled up, however, the assurance coming out of her camp was that she suffered only a minor cramp. Um, so it's just a fix. It was a shocker that no one saw coming. Sharika Jackson, poised to compete in both the 100M and 200M at the Paris Olympics, made the tough decision to withdraw from the 100M. Her reason? This is just to protect my body she explained. For fans who were eagerly anticipating her showdown with Shakari Richardson, it felt like a punch to the gut. But for Jackson, the decision wasn't made lightly. After three years of taking on double event competitions, her body needed a break. It wasn't just about running, it was about preserving her long-term health and ability to perform at her peak. Her choice to focus solely on the 200M came with mixed reactions. On one hand, some fans and analysts applauded her for prioritizing her well-being in a sport where athletes are often pushed to their limits. On the other hand, there was palpable disappointment, especially from Jamaican fans who had hoped to see their star sprinter dominate the Olympic stage in both events. It wasn't just a race she was skipping, it was a moment the world had been waiting for. Um, I guess first I want to say congrats to Shakari and Sharika. It was really a fantastic race. I said to her earlier that Jackson's withdrawal also shifted the dynamics of the 100M competition. Without her in the lineup, the focus turned to other athletes and the buzz around the race seemed a little dimmer. But if there's one thing Jackson has shown us, it's that every decision she makes is calculated and with her career longevity in mind. By stepping away from the 100M, she sent a powerful message. Sometimes, stepping back is the only way to keep moving forward. Just when fans thought they'd see Sharika Jackson shine in the 200M, another blow came. Days after withdrawing from the 100M, Jackson announced that she wouldn't be competing in the 200M either. The reason? A lingering leg injury she sustained during a tune-up race. For an athlete of her caliber, this wasn't just a physical setback, it was an emotional one. She was forced to step away from the event where she had established herself as the queen, 
leaving fans heartbroken and the Olympic track feeling emptier without her presence. For Jamaican fans, the disappointment was immense. They had pinned their hopes on Jackson bringing home gold, and her absence left a void that couldn't be filled. Globally, athletics enthusiasts felt the impact too. Jackson's withdrawals changed the narrative of the Olympics, with her biggest rivalries put on pause. Instead of a high-stakes battle between her and Shakari Richardson, the spotlight shifted to others, but the excitement just wasn't the same. Netflix's Sprint pulls back the curtain on Sharika Jackson's emotional journey during one of the most challenging times of her career. The cameras take you behind the scenes, offering a raw and unfiltered glimpse into the moment Jackson made the heart-wrenching decision to pull out of the 200M at the Paris Olympics. This wasn't just about stepping away from a race, it was about dealing with the crushing weight of unmet expectations and the physical toll of competing at the highest level. The exact moment she decided to withdraw was caught on film, capturing her vulnerability as she sat with her team and reflected on her options. Her words were candid and poignant. My emotions are all over the place from disappointment. This wasn't just the voice of an athlete. It was the voice of someone who had worked tirelessly, only to be sidelined by circumstances beyond her control. Watching her process this decision, you could feel the weight of what it meant to her. She wasn't just giving up a race, she was giving up a chance to prove herself on the world stage. The episode didn't just show her decision, it showed the aftermath. You could see her grappling with feelings of failure and frustration, yet also finding the strength to move forward. What made this portrayal so powerful was its honesty. It reminded you that athletes like Jackson are human. They feel every loss and setback deeply. The episode wasn't just a story about failure, it was a testament to resilience and the reality of high-stakes sports. By showing this side of Jackson, Sprint gave fans a deeper appreciation for her journey and the sacrifices that come with being an elite athlete. For Jamaican fans, Sharika Jackson's withdrawals from the 100M and 200M at the Paris Olympics felt like a double blow. She wasn't just any athlete, she was their star, their hope for gold. Expectations were sky high, and her absence left an undeniable void. People had envisioned Jackson standing atop the podium, draped in the Jamaican flag, but instead they were left with heartbreak. Her decision to step away didn't just affect fans, they shifted the entire dynamic of the competition. With Jackson out of the picture, the focus turned to other Jamaican sprinters and global competitors. While this opened up opportunities for athletes like Shaikari Richardson to shine, it also changed the energy of the races. There's something electric about watching a Jackson race, and her absence was felt both on and off the track. This wasn't just a personal setback for Jackson, it was a moment of reckoning for Jamaican athletics. The country has a rich history of sprinting dominance, and Jackson's withdrawals served as a stark reminder of how fragile that dominance can be. It wasn't just about losing a medal contender, it was about losing a symbol of national pride, even if only temporarily. Sharika Jackson's story isn't just about winning races, it's about the spirit of resilience that defines her as an athlete and as a person. Even in the face of heartbreak at the Paris Olympics, where she had to withdraw from both the 100M and 200M events, Jackson never allowed her setbacks to define her. Instead, she reminded the world that every hurdle is an opportunity to grow. Hurdles fall, it doesn't mean it's forever down, she said. Her words carrying the strength of someone who refuses to stay defeated. Her journey hasn't been easy, but that's what makes her resilience so inspiring. It's one thing to dominate the track when everything is going well, but it's another to stand tall when injuries, doubts, and expectations weigh heavy. For Jackson, the Paris Olympics could have been the end of her story. Instead, they became a turning point. A chance to regroup, reflect, and come back even stronger. She didn't shy away from the disappointment, admitting that her emotions were all over the place. Yet, even in that vulnerability, there was a spark of determination that fans around the world could see. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back, it's about how you choose to move forward. 
For Jackson, that means gearing up for the next season with renewed focus and energy. She's not looking at the setbacks as failures, but as stepping stones toward greater achievements. Her focus isn't just on proving herself to the world. It's about proving to herself that she's capable of even more. That's the kind of mindset that separates good athletes from great ones. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.